Elon Musk and NASA have unveiled a light-speed engine that is quicker than anything previously seen in the aerospace industry after years of testing. In their mutual desire to explore the depths of space, they have been working together for some time and have taken a step toward realizing their dream with the successful testing of this new engine. But what distinguishes this engine from others, and can it make it safely to Mars and survive the meteorite ordeal? There are different opinions in the science community about the potential of this new light-speed engine, but Elon Musk has put his trust in this invention of his. He wants to make it possible for people to travel to Mars by 2050 successfully, and this is why he is working so hard on the project. NASA has agreed to work with him because Elon has a history of delivering results. But this is not like the normal inventions of Tesla. The concept of space travel has been riddled with problems. Mars is an average distance of 140 million miles from the Earth, and it would take a rocket moving at 15,000 miles per hour for at least seven months to get there. Also, for a rocket that consumes 11,000 pounds of fuel per second, ginormous amounts of fuel would be required, which is not practical. This makes the whole process exponentially difficult. But guess what? Elon has found a way around this obstacle. Ordinarily, chemical rockets are based on Newton's third law of motion, which states that the action and reaction forces are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. For thrust, a fuel like methane is mixed with oxygen in a combustion shape. The hot exhaust typically gives birth to steam and water, which is channeled through a nozzle to accelerate liftoff. Thus, the fuel acts and the rocket moves forward in reaction to it. But this light-speed drive, as many would call it, intends to do something different. It will travel without the use of a propellant. According to the principles of space relativity, objects gain mass as they approach the speed of light. The idea behind this engine is also similar. It will confine ions in a loop and accelerate them to moderate speeds while varying their velocity. Simply put, the engine will move the ions back and forth in one direction to produce the needed thrust, taking on a helical shape, like a stretched out string. It will have no moving parts, except the ions strapped inside electric and magnetic fields and an electromagnetic device. It has been believed that if the vibration from the electromagnetic or ions can be channeled in one direction, it can provide enough force to send any rocket faster and farther into space than any other propulsion system ever used. It might create an effective propulsion system that can achieve speeds of a fraction of 1% of the speed of light. But the idea of creating propulsion without any propellant isn't new. In 1990, a NASA Breakthrough Propulsion Physics Project took place, whose goal was to develop a propulsion mechanism that does not need a propellant. In 2001, the first instrument that showcased the idea was produced. Despite this, critics say it is still not time for celebration because no one knows how the propulsion will be. After all, the earlier tests were not done in a vacuum, so there is no confirmation about its practical application. It is also believed that you cannot ionize particles in a quantum vacuum and, therefore, cannot generate energy. Suppose these studies measuring a tiny effect of the advice were to be considered significant. In that case, it could lead to measurement errors and uncertainty before the project can even leave the ground. We have to consider the cost of running it. Using an EM drive would require extensive research, which would cost a lot of money. NASA has already pumped $5 million into it, and there is no telling how much will be needed to perfect it. In addition, achieving momentum and rocketry like this does contradict not only Newton's third law of motion, but also the law of conversion and momentum, which states that the momentum of an object remains constant if there is no external force acting upon it. The concept of momentum conversion is long established in physics, and it doesn't seem likely that this new engine will pass the boundaries of established physics. Then, there is also air friction. We know a meteorite gets almost completely burned out when it enters the atmosphere. Would the same happen with an EM drive as well? Pretty probable. Also, previous Mars landings required rockets to fire toward the ground to slow down descent. So, if this new rocket doesn't plan on using thrusters, how will it manage to stick a landing? A team from Dresden University concluded that the required thrust for the engine's motion might not come from the EM drive, but rather some other electromagnetic interaction showing the whole idea as a flop. However, with the differing opinions and tests regarding this drive, it is impossible to completely rule it out as a viable option for space travel. Many people have validated the idea too and shown how the technology could actually work. But whatever it may be, one thing is clear. Perfecting the engine would require Elon Musk and NASA to work with every ounce of creativity and experimentation they can.
This brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time.